Okay. It didn't give us the countdown. No, it didn't give us a countdown. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. Oh, wow. It's not good. I hope this is recording because I don't want to do this again. It's a one take thing. Okay. All right. Let's Anyhow, go. Anyhow, let's go. Hi, All Sue. Right. How are you, Sue? Hi, talk to them. I'm talking to you. No. <laughs> I'm saying hi to you. I'm not saying hi to them. I'm saying hi to you. Okay, hi. Hi. Hi, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we are once again. I'm going to make, again, something very simple, something uh, delicious, something fairly nutritional. Fairly? And, yeah, well, the puff pastry. Oh, that's good. That's okay. Yeah. And, um something that um is easy quick and easy and that's what you all been asking for and i'm going to give it to you now the thing is most of what i've got i pull right out of the uh fridge and freezer if, if you have never worked with this is a little frozen yet so i'm going to stop this tape in a second and let this get a little unthawed and then i'll come back at you but if you have never worked with puff pastry, you get it in the frozen lockers, the frozen areas of the mm -hmm. grocery store, under pastries and breads and all that. And uh, it's sort of not like near the pies, but stay away from the pies. <laughs> but um, this uh, stuff is wonderful to work with. And I always usually have some of it in my freezer, one or two. In fact, the Partridge, uh, Pepperidge Farm mm -hmm. is what it is. And the... Um, the box comes, the bag comes with two of those in it, but I'm only gonna use one today. And what I'm making for you is sort of really different. Um, I don't know if you've ever had beef wellington, but beef wellington is a beautiful piece of tenderloin with a mixture of, of around it of mushrooms and all sorts of good stuff. I, onion, I won't go into it all, but it's all great and it's put around and then the whole thing is wrapped up in a puff oh, pastry of yeah. sorts. Or, I think I've had yeah, it. Yeah, and I've had it at a restaurant, but I've never made it. And I'm more, that, I mean, that's a big job, that's a biggie. But this is a salmon wellington, basically. And I'm going to take a piece of salmon and I'm going to put it in the puff pastry. And I've got a little bit of other things to put with it. And it's gonna go in the oven for about 20 minutes at 400 and it's yeah. gonna come out brown and golden and beautiful and you're gonna go oh my goodness this is so good <laughs> so anyhow now before we get going though i wanted to show everybody i am so excited i made this last night my sourdough and i'm finally i mean this is like four months later kind of thing i've been doing in fact i've got another sourdough fermenting right now and trying to rise um i've been doing it this is the first one that actually came out i wanted to show you came out with all of the beautiful uh, gaps and, and holes yeah. that it's supposed to because it rolls right. It's it's nice and toppy. It's also, toppy. well, you know what I mean. It's also squishy and bounces right back. I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. And all it's the delicious. Things you test all the for. things you test for. And okay. I finally think I figured it out. Now, I'm doing another one, a little bit different Do you never do two of the same? I don't know. Well, I, I, I've done a couple of those. That's the best one. Uh, I mean, that's, and that's just a plain old loaf, and it's great. Now, that's that. And I, we could probably have a slice of that tonight, too. But this other uh, salmon wellington, I think you're going to like. And what I did is I've got some frozen vegetables in that skillet there. And I'm just going to, I pulled those out of the freezer. I'm going to cook those. And this is going to be an That's easy it. little meal. Good. Yeah. You're All going right. away tomorrow, so this is our last meal together for a week. I tell you, you leave me, then I leave you. I know it. My mom's turning no. 97. 97. So, I'm so going she's going to up. Be with her. Now, before you ask, why aren't you going, Papa? Yes. It's because it's her mother. I oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not true. I just got no, back. I don't want to get on another plane. And I my brother, one of my brothers is, is meeting meet me you. there. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I thought it'd be cool if you gave everybody a quick, quick, because I know you talked to her and I sort of did too, yeah. uh, update on Belle in Sri Lanka. Oh, Belle's doing great. Mm -hmm. She's learning transportation. The 
the tuk tuks. I told her I want a picture of the tuk tuks. Hey, put a picture up and show them when she you. She finally mm -hmm. sent me a picture of the tuk tuks. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to follow her on Instagram, yeah, you can do that. Her mom on our tribe of many keeps giving her Instagram. Uh, yeah. Connections. So yeah, that's you can true. Do that. but, but she's doing good. She's doing really good, and she puts kind of interesting pictures up. So yeah, yeah. She's uh, just a quick uh, rundown on her activity. Monday, uh, Monday she's off. You get stuff done, shopping or mm -hmm. laundry and all that. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday she's at the feeding program that they have yeah. for children there. Um, and then on Thursdays, what is she doing on Thursdays? She goes to church office oh, on yeah. Thursday. And, what are, and just helps around the office, yeah. whatever it is. And needs. then she has youth uh, meetings on Friday. Friday night. Oh, that's right. And she's, she's met meeting some, some of them. Yeah, so. that's good. Has she met any boys? Oh, well. No, I don't. Never mind. Okay. That's Papa. Yeah. Nobody right. else asks that. I know. What a good yeah. Idea. But she's doing great. Yeah. And I know people who watch our tribe, they just are concerned about both their kids overseas but they're doing great honestly it's in their blood to do that so <laughs> they've been blood, their blood, traveling their blood. over to kenya since they were little kids yeah. Yeah. We talked to judah too but yeah, i great. i keep up on on isabel and you keep up on, on judah. judah yeah yeah, yeah. in I've, fact i'm going to get over in april i think to see judah i'm going to go visit the team no there in fun Japan, so that'll be yeah. good yeah for a few days so I'm interested in this. Tonight, okay. Though. All right. I'm ready. So anyhow, let me get my puff pastry ready, yeah. and then I'll come back and we'll show everybody how you assemble. It's just assembly, is all. Okay. It is. All right. I'm ready. Good. Got my puff pastry ready to go, and you, it's sort of one of those things. Puff pastry, you learn to, by doing. You want it cold, but not frozen. If you do it too frozen, it breaks, and cr and then you're finished. But if it's too soft and warm, it's hard to manage. So I do have it cold, but to the touch, but it is able to be, I hope you can see this, it's able to be unfolded. There it is. And it comes with those paper strips you just take out. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to just a little bit of, um, meant to do this on the bottom and I forgot here. Here. Put flour. Yeah, on the bottom a little bit. Just like this, let me do this. Just for a second, I'm gonna be very careful. Puff pastry is wonderful. It's just a little bit more delicate than a pie. Well, it would be like a real thin pie or something, but um, where you gotta be careful. But honestly, <laughs> I'm having trouble there. Okay, there we go. I want to uh, make it a little bit bigger rectangle. And so I'm going to just roll out uh, this um, a little bit. And, and you easily can do that. And let me just show you what I'm doing here like this and I just want to get it out to more of it's a square right now and I honestly I just want it to be a bit of a rectangle there we go go this way a little bit oh, yeah, nice. there we go okay now that's it there there is it's done and now what I'm going to do very simple in this bowl I have a, a half of a four ounces a half of brick of, of cream cheese okay Philadelphia cream cheese is what I use I opened up a box of uh, frozen spinach and got it thawed and by the way you want to get all the as much water out as you can and so as you can see by the way my hands are clean so if any of you are wondering and I'm just squeezing out all the excess water there mm a lot of water in there there so that's pretty good and we're gonna put that in there and then put some of that right in there okay great in addition to that I have a half a cup of um, mozzarella cheese shredded so I'm gonna put all that together I mean this, I'm, I'm talking quick here uh, you can see in fact let me do a fork it's gonna be a little bit better so all I'm gonna do is get that all blended together there and this is going to be the base on my um, puff pastry. And then when that's done, and I'm gonna salt and pepper that, when that's laid on the base, I'll show it to you in a sec. It's a little cold yet, my uh, cream cheese. And if you like salmon, what a way to go here. I mean, and what I did is I had some um, salmon in my freezer 
in the back, but those fillets are both skin and um, they are also pretty thin. And I don't want a thin piece here in this recipe. I want sort of a thicker fillet. So I went up to my local Publix uh, and yesterday and I got myself just one one pound fillet of um, salmon. It was $7.99 and that's exactly what I paid. It was exactly a pound. It's skinless and it's all been, you know, set into a fillet, it's no bones or anything like that. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on my puff pastry. Just like this. Use the whole thing. And by the way, you could easily double this recipe if you had company because this one, in fact, it will probably feed more than two. Uh, it most certainly will feed two. And all you're going to do is just put that on there like that and get that all pushed down. Leave a little bit away from the front edge and the back edge here. Just like that. I want to lightly salt this. Oh, and I, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I have a shallot here. I am going to take a little bit of minced shallot and I'm going to put that on there too. I just want to do this. My hand shaking, I can't make it stop. Is that age? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Everything's age. I know it. At this age, everything's <laughs> age. Everything's about age. I know it. I just don't want to be one of those, right, at least right now, that talk about all my ailments. You know what I'm talking about. Do so. you have all those ailments? No, I don't have a, a lot of ailments. No, well, once you have them, we'll see. I know, but <laughs> I don't want to be known for my ailments. That's no. what I'm trying to say. Yeah, well. Even if I have them, I'm just going to try to keep quiet about it. All right, that's me, though. Okay. Now, look at there. There's that salmon. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of salt on the salmon. I want to do some pepper. You gotta admit, my mom doesn't complain much. She doesn't. At, at 97, 97. She really doesn't. And her hands a, bother her. But she has a lot of reasons to. But too. she does. Yes, she does. <laughs> now watch, Sue. All I'm gonna do, got my little scraper here. I'm gonna put this up and around. It's sticking a little. On this. Yeah, we'll get that. No big deal. And then over here, same thing. Up. Again, you got to work with it cold and you got to move fast. Up. There we go. Look at that. And around. And then I want to pinch off the sides. And pinch off the top as well. So it closes up. Just like that. Oh, this is going to be so good. I'm really getting hungry now. <laughs> and really, I let this talking, I let this get a little soft. I don't like it <laughs> working with it, but it'll be just fine. It oh, happens so quick. It does. And then all I want, put a piece of parchment on my cookie sheet here and come underneath this thing. It's all pinched off, and I want the, the seams down. So like that, okay? There we go. And let's make it look nice a little bit. And then what I'm going to do, folks, here it is. I'm, my oven's at 400. I'm going to take my knife, and I'm going to... Just put some slices in. What about the egg? I'm going to do that in oh, just a okay. second. Just like that. Beautiful. One egg. With a little water, actually. Mm. And then just 
coat all that, paint that nicely. That makes it shiny. Oh, it makes it? it nice and brown and shiny and glistening. And mm -hmm. You can't get much easier. This prep time, this is 10 minutes of prep. It's fantastic. I did more talking than I did prep. <laughs> and that's going in the oven. And when it gets out, I'm going to show you what it looks like. We're going to cut into it. And then we're going to have some good food. Okay, the buzzer just went off. And so we're going to go back there and see how this thing is looking. <gasps> sort of exciting oh my goodness oh my goodness beautiful beautiful and what you want look at this look at this Wow. and what you want you want to if you got a thermometer check the inside the meat uh, you're, you're gonna hit the meat if you just go in a little bit it should be 145 140 145 I'm at 150 45.9 okay oh, beautiful so I'm gonna let this rest just for a second. Look, but look at this, Sue, honestly, what? I can get at least three pieces, probably four. This actually would almost feed four when you think about it. If you had a, a rice or something we're not doing and you had vegetables or a mm -hmm. salad, yeah. I think I am gonna cut it in fours. Yeah. I think this will feed four actually. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's good. Isn't that great? I like really doing nice. this. Oh, I love doing it's this. It's really cool. Isn't that cool? And puff pastry, it just, it's, it's a pastry. It makes everything come out looking gorgeous. And uh, yep. and you go, oh my goodness, it looks so professional. Oh, and salmon in there. And the That's salmon, and, and you can see the uh, cheese and the, uh, the spinach in there. Yep. That is just beautiful. It's gonna be good, folks. Yeah, I'm well. looking, I'm hungry, my mouth, I'm, um, um, I keep, Trying to not drool. I can't wait till you cut into it. First cut. Oh, this looks so good. Beautiful. I know you like the end piece. Whoa, you see the salmon in there. Yep. Oh. Didn't quite cut over there. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. That's mm, really good. Mm, 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 mm. Look at the mm. salmon in there. Just gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. That, folks, is a dinner fit for a king. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, my good. Mmm. Mmm. Isn't that good? Mm. All right. Very good. We got to get to eat. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> no. I treat you good. You know I do. You do. By the way, with this, you could easily make yourself a nice little lemony sauce to put on it. Maybe oh, with yeah. some capers or what. I mean, you can yeah. just, your mind can go all crazy. You could easily do that. Yeah. Um, as a side or something. Like or they say, gussy something. it up. Gussy it up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Mm. Hope you try this recipe out and enjoy it just like we're going to. Yep, thanks for watching. Thanks, see you later.